Hey everybody, this is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next baseball video. As you can see, we're in the MLB cap on Robbie Ray and just how stellar of a season he had to win the Cy Young, and deservingly so deserve that American League Cy Young, leading the league in strikeouts at 2.48 in the AL and ERA at 2.84 in innings. Um, <clears throat> in innings, he had 193.13 and WHIP 1.04 to obviously become the first Toronto pitcher since the late, great, fantastic Roy Holiday that we all knew and love here in Philly, as well as everyone around baseball loved him. And now we have Robbie Ray from Toronto that has captured the Cy Young after bouncing back from a very rough 2020 season and really being able to reestablish himself in Toronto, a rotation that, of course, saw the reemergence of Steven Matz as well, who now is a very good commodity on the free agent market. Robbie Ray really stepped up and showed out and had a fantastic season to win that AL Cy Young and has been, obviously, a very solid pitcher throughout the course of his MLB career, he just has not been as consistent, obviously, and not as stellar as a 2.84, a 13 and 7 record, and having those ridiculous strikeout whips, um, strikeout per nine innings record, having a better, um, obviously, less walks, and having his best control of his career as well. His career ERA is a 4 ERA, but he's obviously had seasons in the past, like, for example, 2.89 in Arizona when he was an all-star in 17, and then a 3.93 in 2018 in a short stint when he wasn't able to um, pitch in, uh, well, no, he did still pitch in 24 games, actually, never mind that season, but then he struggled a lot last year at 6.62 in totality when you put together his time with both teams, and then, of course, this season is when he really took it off and really took it, and really seemed to have really worked on his craft, and work on his ability to control the zone to the best of his ability, and struck out 248 people with his other career high being back in 19 at 239, and then really he's always been a good strikeout guy, but like we said, um, if you look at his based balls, as it's not showing up right now for some reason. Here we go. He had 52 in 193.1 innings, where in 19 he was up at 84, 71, 71. So he's really started to be obviously harnessing that in and being one of the better pitchers there at obviously controlling the walk as well. So Robbie Ray really earned this Cy Young. He's a guy that I hope continues to have that success. He's fun to watch. Obviously, those guys that are great south poles, great movement, great filthy stuff that Ray has, throwing his fastball, mixing in his yakker off-speed pitchers that have ridiculous movement, and a guy that obviously is fun to watch just because of the grunting he does when he throws the ball. But he is a very fun and productive pitcher that's always been a solid pitcher his entire career, pitching to a career four ERA, and really breaking out this year, having his best season of his career and his best to his second best being that good season in 2017 to Arizona. And it seems like he is in the right spot, being able to really take the mantle now in the rotation in um, Toronto and being able to continue his keen success up there in Toronto after winning the Cy Young this season, if he's able to actually, of course, if they're able to bring him back in. And I think if they are smart after this, even though you're going to have to pay him, I have a feeling the Toronto Blue Jays have to be smart here and keep him in-house because it looks like Stephen Matt from reading things around that there's four or five teams interested in him and it seems like he's going to be going elsewhere potentially compared to staying with the Jays. So you're going to want to keep the NL or AL, excuse me, Cy Young winner. And with the people that are interested in him, which is obviously a vast amount, meaning he won the damn Cy Young, the Blue Jays have to do everything in their power to not just keep a player obviously like Marcus Simeon, but be able to keep players 
like Robbie Ray as well because pitching wins championships, of course, as they already have very keen key guys in the lineup. You would love to keep Simeon, but I think it's more of a priority to keep Ray, in my opinion. But great season by Robbie Ray as we reviewed the season. That got him to the Cy Young. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and if you enjoy the content and have not already, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate you all.